So when it comes down to shaping the human body, you know, isn't that kind of what we're really after to at least some degree? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not shallow or vain or anything. We want to look good, right? We want to look good in a bathing suit and look good for uh, the upcoming high school reunion and everything like that. Nothing wrong with that. So in our culture, a lot of times we tend to say, I'm exercising for health and everything, and that's good. But come on, we're doing this because we want to look damn good too. Now, there's a lot of confusion around the idea of exercising and eating and everything to try and shape and sculpt the human body. Talk about uh, toning this and sculpting that and bulking up and blah, 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 blah. Let's make things really simple, shall we? Okay, with the exclusion of water, because water can be transient as well, we have only two things that we can change. We've got fat and we got muscle. That's it. Okay? Now, with these two things, there's only two things we can do to either of them. We can increase or we can decrease the volume, how much there is. Okay? Yeah, all this stuff about bulking and sculpting and trimming and toning and blah, 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 it's all marketing mumbo jumbo plug. Okay? Basically, it's just more of it or less of it. That's all you got. Fat, more of it or less of it, kind of uniformly throughout the body. Muscle, we can change how much of it we have in different areas of the body, depending on what kind of exercise we're doing. Now, here's the really cool thing to consider, though, is it's either more or less, more or less. We're always kind of coming on with these ideas, well, how do I get more? How do I have less? How do I do? The really cool thing is we only have to worry about half of this stuff because the human body on autopilot does half of the work for us. Okay. Let me kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. Picture a balloon uh, out, out of the bag, okay? The balloon <coughs> is like all shriveled up and deflated and so forth. If we proactively inject air into the balloon, we make the balloon bigger by putting air into it. That's the supporting thing that's maintaining the size of the balloon. Then we tie it off. Okay? Now the balloon will stay that size okay, because of the support of the air inside. Now the balloon itself is not trying to get bigger. It doesn't have that ability to say, I need to get bigger, I'm trying to get bigger. The air is making it bigger. The balloon is actually still trying to get smaller because of the elasticity in, in the rubber, right? So the balloon is only one default direction, smaller, 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 and the support of the air inside is keeping it the same size. If we have more support, it gets bigger. If we have less support, it starts to shrink, okay? So we poke a hole in or something. With muscle, it's pretty easy to understand this one. We all well, hear the term, you don't use it, you lose it, right? So the support for muscle is through stress upon the muscle, the force that we exhibit through exercise. If this force upon our muscle is the same, our muscle size and strength levels will pretty much stay the same. I mean, you know, changes with age and everything, but pretty much stays the same. I don't care if it's a ton of work. If it's the same, you're staying the same. If some of the support is lost, here's a cool thing, muscle goes down on its own. We don't have to make muscle mass go down. It's naturally set to get rid of it. The body's just trying to automatically just catabolic, 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 get rid of muscle, get rid of muscle. I don't want it. It's trying to dump it. And the only thing stopping it is the support we have through the stress we're exhibiting upon the muscles through our daily activity. So more support through exercise, more muscle. Less support, less muscle. We're fairly familiar, right? Makes sense. Fat, we tend to take the opposite perspective. We have this idea of we have to be proactive and keep trying to make fat loss happen. But fat is just like muscle. The natural inclination, just like the balloon, down, 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 get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. The body is constantly churning through fat, trying to get rid of it, trying to move it, move it, move it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. So the thing to know about fat is we actually, the only thing we do is proactively add it. We add it through support, and that support comes in the form of the caloric intake that we have, how much, how many calories that we are consuming. Fat is naturally trying to go down. It is on autopilot to get rid of it. Hey, I don't care what you do. If you just sit yourself in a room, 
you know, and just have water and maybe a couple vitamin pills or whatnot and sleep for the, for the next week. I don't care what you do. You can do drugs. You can fight with your family. You can be the worst employee. You can have a crappy uh, workout program. You can sit on your butt all day watching TV and so forth. If your caloric intake is really low, you're going to lose fat 100% of the time, guaranteed, because that's where the body naturally is going. We don't have to make fat loss happen. We have to make fat gain happen. Now the exception, I, I can hear some of you may be thinking, is when we proactively burn more calories through activity and exercise. And yes, that is true, but it's not necessary. We don't have to make fat loss happen. We simply have to remove the support, untie the balloon as it were, and it'll go right on down. Now of course in our society it's very easy to have the support there and it's difficult to remove it because we have food around us all the time and everything like that. Muscle, you know, is, we're sitting around, it's kind of hard to get the support, but the support for fat is very easy to have around us. So it takes effort to remove the support. But the main idea here that I really want to drill home is we don't have to make anything happen for fat loss. We have to stop making it gain or maintain it. That's why, that's the, the deal there. So let me know your thoughts down below. Am I off base? Love to hear your thoughts. Till then, be fit, live free.